the Army, Cooper? Third Cavalry. Nice regiment. Only you'll find the Border Patrol a little different. We don't go in for salutes and things like that. You can call me Fletch. Everyone else does. Oh, all right, sir. I mean Fletch. Oh, Captain Roberts, your father, sent me. He said bring the herd straight to Wild Oak Pass. Lieutenant Lane will meet you there. Rocky Lane. Good. Anything else? I think that's about all. Except I brought some mail for you, sir. Fletch. Ah, Fletch. I mean, Fletch. <laughs> My bootmaker's bill. You don't get rich in the Border Patrol. Nor the cavalry either, eh, Fletch? You go on ahead, boys. That'll be all, Cooper. Thank you, sir. Check the herd and be right back. Sure, Flood. Sure. and couldn't keep the date. He asked me to do it for him. You'll have to do better than that, mister. I never saw you before. Tim wants you to read this. Quick thinking, boss. In school, we'd call you an apple polisher slip. Not that I mind. It's closed. Oh, it's you, Flat. Yeah, I was getting worried about it. I was wondering if anything.
over now. You men check the herd. Come on, Jeff. Get him to a doctor right now. I can't believe it, Captain. Fletch was my best friend. He was my son. I can't believe anything else after what Cooper said. Doctor, can I talk to him again? Yes, for a moment. Cooper. Cooper. Oh, yeah, Lieutenant. You feel strong enough to talk a little? Sure. Sure. Can you tell me anything more about Fletch? Tell me just what happened. Sure. Sure. He rode into camp and... Cooper. Cooper. Listen to me, Cooper. Who shot you? Uh, uh, Lieutenant Roberts shot me. Sorry, Stan. There was nothing I could do. I know, Doc. Thanks. Where did you find Fletcher's body, sir? Schooner Rocks. He was double-crossed by his own brother. Double-crossed? Sounds like you think Fletch was in on the rustling. We found a letter from Tim in Fletch's pocket. Read it. Well, this doesn't prove Fletch is guilty. It doesn't prove anything. What do you intend to do? Rocky? I've got to tell the truth, Rocky, all the truth. I've got to report that my son Timothy, drifter and loafer, my son Fletcher, Lieutenant of the Border Patrol together collaborated in the murder of Sergeant Cooper, of civilian wranglers, and the rustling of a herd of horses. That report, when do you have to turn it in? Why? Well, with your permission, I'm going looking for Tim. Find him and get the truth. Find Tim? You never even met him. I'll find him. When you last heard of him, where was he? There was a rumor he was in a town across the border called Cemetery Ridge. That was a couple of months ago. Riding high with the rest of the outlaws and killers. Safe from arrest. Safe from everything decent and lawful. Cemetery Ridge. How about it, sir? Will you hold up that report, say, for three days? I'll be back by then. Back? Back from Cemetery Ridge? You have no authority beyond the state line. I won't need any authority. Will you give me a chance? 
give Fletch a chance. Rocky, I'd do anything in the world to clear Fletch. You know that. All right, go ahead. Thank you, sir. Can I have these? A little help from the Border Patrol? Anything you want. Rocky, there's a man, a certain man at Cemetery Ridge who may be able to help you. A U.S. Marshal operating undercover. He answers to the name of Frank Lawton. Look him up. Frank Lawton. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Rocky. Good luck. Ding, dang it. Thank you, Sheriff. Lieutenant, Border Patrol. Here, let me give you a hand. Uh, you bought yourself a lot of merchandise, old-timer. Ding, dang it, I got you. I don't get in here only once in a dog's age. Well, thank you again, Lieutenant. Leaving us for a while. in Rocky's boots. yourself. You got two choices. Drop that gun or try to shoot before I do. What made you think I was worth sticking up? Or were you just practicing? You got me wrong, stranger. I wasn't a stick-up. <laughs> sure wasn't. That ain't what I mean. I wasn't gonna stick you up. I just wanted to look you over and ask a couple of questions. You need one of these to ask questions? Sometimes. I'm supposed to know who's coming to Cemetery Ridge. Find out their names and their business. That's fair enough. My name's Denver, the Denver kid. And drifting's my business. You was drifting pretty fast across that state line. Faster than the Border Patrol. Kinda hot, ain't you, mister? A little warm. I heard Cemetery Ridge was a good place to cool off. Oh, it's a great climate. But it'll cost you. I'm willing to pay. Any more questions? Yeah. What are you going to do with my shells?
Cemetery Ridge got anything besides saloons? Got a lot of gunsmiths and a sheriff. Come on, we'll go find him. I'm going to find a sheriff? <laughs> Haven't you got things backwards? This sheriff's different. Hold it, Howie. Yeah? I got a new customer for you. Denver kid. I got the miseries again, too. Never heard of it. That makes us even. I guess so. Well, come on. I'll take care of my stomach first, then I'll take care of you. Same thing, Sheriff? Yeah, same thing and make it get quick. Lead a good life, I always say, and you'll have a good stomach. I'll take care of my life. You just take care of my stomach. Gimme and gimme now. Be right with you. I told you before, Sheriff, and I'll tell you again. I'm a druggist. I ain't a doctor and I ain't a preacher. But if I was a doctor, I'd tell you to go somewheres and, and get your stomach taken care of proper. And if I was a preacher, I'd tell you to get out of town before some honest, God-fearing man puts a bullet in you. Gimme! Cemetery Ridge was a good town. A nice little town. Until the fox and his minions took over. Do you know what minions mean, Sheriff? Uh-uh. Means nasty crooks. The likes of you being made sheriff by the fox instead of being duly elected by the people. It means... Shut up! If it wasn't for the fox in my stomach, I'd had a bullet for you long ago. <laughs> uh, mind you, Sheriff, there'll come a day when honest people will again live peacefully in Cemetery Ridge. There'll come a day when maybe you'll find the Border Patrol in Cemetery Ridge. Ha! The Border Patrol, huh? I'd like to see one of them. Ha! Well, maybe you will, Sheriff. Can't you make this stuff taste no better? Uh-uh. And I wouldn't if I could. So, the Denver kid, huh? What's your trouble? Thought I'd like to hang around here a few weeks. Where you wanted? Colorado. Knocked over a couple of stages. Some banks. That all? Well, you can stay around here a whole month for 50 bucks. You forgot something, Denver. That border patrol guy you just plowed under. <laughs> so you killed one of them fellers, huh? Well, then it's a hundred bucks. You're a lot of help. I was just telling the truth. You have to begin on me. Here's the setup, Denver. All league-like, so nobody else can grab you. You're arrested for disturbing the peace. Your bail is fifty dollars. Uh, I mean, a hundred. You can stay around here safe for a whole month. You satisfied? Yeah, yeah, I'm satisfied. Just out of curiosity, uh, what happens to that money? Oh, I just take ten of it, turn the rest over to the fox. Sounds like the fox has taken you, Sheriff. Why don't you hold out for half? You're new around here, Denver. My stomach feels better, so I'll just pretend it didn't hear you. If you ever got anything else to say about the fox, Denver, do me a favor, will you? Wait till I'm not around. Boy, this ain't much of a life, but it's the only one I got. I'll live and learn. Around here, learn comes first. Around here, when you say the fox, you take off your hat. Oh, he's a crook just like the rest of you, and he's a lot bigger. An awful lot bigger. He hasn't shut you up. Because I'm the nearest thing to a duck that is in town. They keep me here to patch him up. Well, I was here a long time before the fox and his gang took over, and I'll be here a long time after you're all hanged and gone. Now go on, get out, so I can fumigate. Come on, Denver. My stomach needs a prescription, too. The kind you get in the saloon. This fox sounds like quite a gent. What's he look like? See for yourself. He's the one on the right. He looks like he might be able to take care of himself. And everyone else. Come on. I want to look up a fellow first. Well, names come pretty cheap around here. Maybe I can help you. What'd you say your friend's name was? He goes by the name of...
You know my rules, Sam. Listen, Mr. Fox, I had to kill him. He was... I don't care who he was or what he did. I won't have any murders here on Cemetery Ridge. If you had to kill him, you should have taken him outside of town. How do you want it? Oh, but give me a chance to explain. Look. Look who he was, boss. Hey, look who he was. Frank Lawton, United States Marshal. Sorry, Sam. Guess I was a little hasty. Bartender, the rest of this month, send me the bill for anything Sam buys or drinks. There'll be no arrest, Sheriff. Insufficient evidence. Too bad there wasn't any witnesses. Tom, better send this back where it came from. I may be running short of badges. Get him out of here. That friend of yours, what'd you say his name was? It doesn't matter. Like you said, names come cheap around here. Oh, Mincy! Come here, honey. Sit down. We want some company. You got it. What do you have? I got a big bursting heart. Well, in that case, champagne. Oh, Slip. I want to have a little talk with you. Man talk, Mincy. Beat it. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Fox. Well, a perfect gentleman. Oh, this is the Denver kid, Mr. Fox. Denver? Howdy, Fox. Mr. Fox. And Tom Richards. How are you? Denver just killed a lawman. I saw him do it. Congratulations. For what? I always liked a modest man. Slip. I hear a lot of things. One of the things I hear is about a wagon load of gunpowder. Tomorrow morning, I'll be moving north along the Judson Road, just across the state line. When I want something, I pay for it. Pay well. One of the things I want just now is gunpowder. You've practically got it, Mr. Fox. You're a good man, Slip. Better take two or three others. Before. See you tomorrow. Tom, be right with you, Jason. That man you killed, was he with the Border Patrol? He must have been. I was across the state line at the time. What was his name? We weren't introduced. Tom! Who's the kid with all the questions? He's in the setup, too. Rates pretty high with the Fox. Next to me, of course. Yeah, of course. Say, uh, how about my taking a crack at that gunpowder with you? Sure. Sure. Why not? And remember, 11 sharp tomorrow morning. And don't forget that wagon. Sure, sure. Tell me, Lieutenant, do you think... The maybe... name is Denver. All right, Denver. Do you think maybe someday soon that Border Patrol will move in here and clean up? We've got no authority on this side of the border, remember? Do you know anyone around Cemetery Ridge named Tim Roberts? No, hmm? never heard of him. Put that out. So you got everything straight, all of it. Don't worry. Don't worry, you just take care of it. Good night. Good night. I got this all figured, fair and square. We divvy into five parts. I'm the boss, so I take two. You boys get one part apiece, understand? You're not the fox, Slit. You're just a toy. A toy coyote. I figure a boss has got a right to. This is gonna be like shooting fish in a barrel. Let's take it. Go ahead. <laughs>
mind it slipped. This Denver kid took care of all three of you. Well, he, he caught us when we wasn't looking. I'm looking, I don't see a wagon load of gunpowder. I don't like excuses, Slip. And I don't like to give them either. I'll prove it the next time I see Denver. I'll fill him so full of lead he'll think that you he's... what? You pull that and one of us will wish you hadn't. That's better. I like a calm, reasonable sort of man. Slit here just turned in a complaint against you, Denver. As judge, jury, and executioner, I'd like to hear your side. Slit tells me you roped him off his horse and knocked his boys a spinning. That's so? That's so. I always like to look at both sides of a coin. Do you have any explanation? Well, I kind of like to look at both sides of a coin, too. The more coin, the better. I just couldn't see any reason why I should split with him and his saddle-heavy lugs. I couldn't see why I shouldn't have all the coin for myself. You're pretty cool, Denver. Only you forgot something. You forgot the reason for the coin. You forgot the wagon load of gunpowder. I got a pretty good memory. Is that the gunpowder? What do you think? Beat it and stay out of sight. But I didn't have... You didn't do anything. On your way. You've earned my congratulations, Denver. I've earned more than that. I've earned both sides of the coin. All the coin. You've got it. What's the matter? Isn't that enough? We'll do business again. You're a hard man to please. Yeah. But the next time you've got an errand, let me know. You've got the gunpowder, Jason. That ought to be most everything. How soon can we get started? You're a good man, Tom. But you've got to be more patient. When you're planning something as big as I am, taking over a whole territory, building an empire. We've got to plan well. First, we must organize these gunmen into an army, a powerful force, fearless men. Men like this Denver kid. A few more like that and I wouldn't worry about my organization, Tom. A few more like that and I'd worry about my organization. That guy packs a lot of power. Good Mustang's got a lot of power, Tom. But I never saw one yet I couldn't break. Now take two teaspoonfuls after each meal. That's all there is to it. A teaspoon. <laughs> you wouldn't know a teaspoon from a gravy ladle. Well, not that it matters. Say, Rocky, I was worried about getting that wagon there in time. So was I. But you did, just in time. Thanks. What bothers me is what's going to happen when someone tries to shoot that gunpowder. Why? It won't explode, will it? No, but it might fizz up a little. <laughs> what do you know about a kid around here called Tom Richards? Not much. Anchors after excitement, thinks the fox is the greatest man that ever lived. Except for that hero stuff, he'd no doubt be a very nice kid. Why? I think his real handle is Tim Roberts. And Tim Roberts is my reason for coming here. You're aiming off the target, Rocky. Now, Tom never did anything really bad. Now, like I said, he's just reckless. Reckless and a little wild, that's all. Well, I'm not sure he did do anything. But right now, I want to have a talk with him. Make him talk to me. You're taking a chance, Rocky. Suppose he finds out you're a law man. Let's not be supposing that far. Troubles. Listen to his. He's got more of them. Mean it. Is it a private club or can anybody join? 
Anybody with money. What's the fee? Back of white. Here's a year's dues. Nice thing about this town, you can have a nice friendly game without worrying about a lawman sneaking up on you. Lawman, meaning border patrol? Border patrol, sheriff, marshal, they're all the same. Open. Dodge? I've got faith in these. Three. Only thing, I hear when you kill one of the border patrol, they keep moseying around until someplace, sometime they get you. They're not much. Only last Tuesday night, another one of them got knocked off. They haven't the slightest idea who did it. Two blues. Another one? Who? I don't know. His name was Robbins or Rogers or... Roberts, that's it. I've had enough. house. Deal me out. There you are, Sliff. I hated to make a fool of you today, but it was just too tempting. I wouldn't take a dime of your money. You'd take a penny of anybody's money. enough to grow much older, it'll be because you learn smarter ways to follow people. What's on your mind? Well, I wanted to talk to you, alone. I wanted to talk to you too, Tim. Tim Roberts. All right, so you know. Now let's cut the corners, skip the details. I also know your brother was Lieutenant Fletcher Roberts of the Border Patrol. And I know who killed him. Who? You. What? Swinging your fist won't help any. Thought you said you wanted to talk to me. Not when you say I killed Fletch. Well, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Relax yourself. Got any answers for this? Meet me alone in Schooner Rocks at midnight tonight. I'm taking a chance in writing this much, so please say nothing to anyone. Until we meet your erring brother, Tim. 
Well, I didn't write that. It's a forgery. Is this a forgery? My ring. It was found on your brother's body along with the letter in Schooner Rocks. How'd you find them? How doesn't matter. I found them. Now let's clear away the weeds and get down to pay dirt. Whoever killed your brother rustled off a fat herd of Border Patrol horses. I'm looking for a slice of that herd. Or... Or what? Or these go to your father. My father? Oh, you gotta listen to me, Denver, you gotta. I didn't write that letter and I don't know anything about a herd of horses. Where were you Tuesday night? I'm running an errand for Jason Fox. Where was he? I don't know, right here in Cemetery Ridge, I think. How about this ring? How'd it get in your brother's pocket? I don't know. I don't know. I lost it weeks ago gambling. Who won it from you? Andre. A poker dealer at the Oasis. Let's have a talk with this Andre. Get your horse. Sorry for this, Tom. When I talk to the fox and... Right now, you're going to talk to me. The ring. Recognize this? Yeah. How'd you get it and when? A couple of weeks ago. You gave it to me to pay off a poker debt, remember? I remember. And what'd you do with it? Well, I... I lost it over a table. That's right, I remember. I now. won't buy it, Andre. You never took a chance with jewelry before. You like it too much. <laughs> now, don't move too much, Andre. This might slip. Answer the question. What'd you do with my ring? I can't tell you. He'd kill me if I did. What do you think I'll do if you don't? All right. Tell me, Jason Fox. He made me promise not to tell. That's a lie. What would Jason want with my ring? The truth, Andre, the truth! Honest, how honest. It was Jason Fox. Tim, hold it. He's telling the truth. We're no better off than we were before. Maybe we are. Why don't you have a talk with the Fox? Jason? You don't know him, Denver. He's my best friend. He wouldn't have had anything to do with killing my brother. Could be he gave the ring to somebody else. Maybe. I'll have a talk with him. No, I wouldn't work. 
Jason knew the ring was mine, he'd have given it back to me. I still think Andre's telling... Stay where you are, Tim. I've never killed a man before. Forget about him, Tim. It was either you or him. Now, let's get back to who killed your brother. I still think you should have that talk with the Fox. Jason didn't have anything to do with it, Denver. In Cemetery Ridge, you're known as Tom Richards. Does anybody know you by your real name? Anybody? No. Just Jason, but he couldn't have... You don't know Jason, Denver. He's a great man. Jason's got a dream and he's going to make it come true. He's going to build an army out of all these gunmen in Cemetery Ridge. An army that'll create and hold an independent nation out here. That's why I joined up with him to become an important member of this new nation. You think that's crazy, don't you? What I think about that doesn't matter. This army of his, is it to include cavalry? Of course. Be mostly cavalry. You need a lot of men on horseback. You need a lot of horses for cavalry. Lots of horses. A big herd of horses. You might ask the fox if he's got those horses and how he got them. Come on. In the Society Islands. They're in the South Seas, Barbara. In the Society Islands, the Polynesian natives have a custom which beautifully simplifies romance. There, when a girl wants a suitor, she wears a flower and a hair over her left ear. But when she already has a man, she wears the blossom over her right ear. Why have I got it backwards? Is it the right ear when she... Yes. Evening, Tom. You're just in time. I'm in a festive mood tonight, so why don't you... I want to talk to you, Jason. Well, uh, can I wait till morning? Is it important? It is to me. All right. Man talk, Barbara. Will you excuse us for a moment? Whatever it is that's bothering you, Tom, can be discussed in a civilized manner over a glass of champagne. Sit down. Take Barbara's. I'll pour her some water. Well, out with it. I don't like to keep a lady waiting. I've been worrying about your army, Jason. You said something once about cavalry. You worry at the most inconvenient times. Sure, we're going to have cavalry. Platoons of it. Why? You're going to need a large herd of horses for cavalry, remounts, things like that. Oh, sure we will. We'll get them. Have you already got those horses, Jason? As a matter of fact, I have. Some of the boys brought in a large herd. Not long ago. You let me worry about the details, Tom. Tonight's not a night for business. Tonight's I'm more night... interested in that herd your boys brought in. How long ago was it, Jason? Well, Denver, you're a little informal, aren't you? Some people knock on doors. I'm an informal kind of guy, Fox. Mr. Fox. That's the kind of guy I like. Now that you're here, we'll make an occasion of it. Like champagne? Don't know much about it. Well, excuse me a moment, and I'll get some more and some glasses. Listen, Denver, I just... Quiet. Quiet. Champagne is a special kind of wine, Denver, for special occasions. I know that you are. You've gone to all this trouble, Fox. But I came here looking for Tom. We've got an unfinished poker hand to play out. I don't think champagne and poker mix, do you? You're quite right. Well, just one thing. Next time you come, knock first. Let's go, Tom. Barbara.
You wore the flower. Sure wish I knew which side meant what. Barbara, you and I are going to get along. I suppose you think you've solved something. You can't hang on to me forever. I'm going to kill Jason. You think killing the fox has solved something? That would silence the only one who could prove you didn't kill your brother. Who would clear Fletch's name then? Who would save your father from disgrace? You worry about funny things, Denver, for someone who's killed a lawman. For a blackmailer who wants a cut of a rustled herd of horses. I didn't kill that lawman, and I don't want a cut of those horses. Tim, your brother was my best friend. Fletch wrote to me from time to time, Denver, and that isn't what he called his best friend. His best friend was in the Border Patrol. So am I. My name's not Denver. Your brother called me Rocky. Rocky Lane, what are you doing here? Trying to trap the man who murdered your brother. Alone? No, there's three of us now, including you. Three of us? Who's the other? Come on, I'll show you. It's late. I'm closing up. If you ain't sick, come around tomorrow morning. And if you are, I'll... Oh, come on in. What are you standing out there for? What about him? He's Tim Roberts. He's with us. Oh, glad to have you in our camp, son. Thanks. What do you figure on doing now? Arrest Jason Fox. You can't. You haven't any power here. Across the state line, I have. How do you intend to get Jason to cross it? Well, he crossed it once when he stole those horses. If we could find that herd and take them, I think the fox would cross the line again to get them back. The trouble is, we got to find them first. You got any ideas where they are, Tim? Well, Wild Echo Canyon's about the only place that could graze a herd that large. You don't know Jason, Rocky. He'll have men watching those horses. We can take care of them. Yeah, how? Where is that stuff, Nugget? Huh? Oh. Is this what you're looking for? Yeah, that's it. What is it? Called somnitol. Now, as I recollect, somnus means sleep, and I talk could mean uh, good and sound. <laughs> <laughs> sleep good and sound, huh? When do we start, Rocky? Sun up tomorrow morning. Huh. Do you see what I see? It's that wagon load of gunpowder you brought, Jason. <laughs> Where are you heading, fellas? On an errand for Jason over in Wild Echo Canyon. What's he doing along? A couple of fellas out there don't feel so good. Yeah, I'm bringing something to take care of. You must have been promoted, Slit. The fox trusting you with that wagon load of gunpowder. Where are you taking it? Shut up. Slit's in a bad mood, Denver. I got a sneaking hunch he don't like you. We're taking this load over to the fox storage barn. I wouldn't get too close to that wagon if I were you. You're mighty hot under the collar. Let's go. What's up, Tom? Nothing. Jason wanted me to check on the herd. Where is it? Well, it's over the ridge. Where else? Do I smell coffee? You do. Well, I'm prescribing it for myself. Oh, it ain't strong enough. Let's put some coffee in it. Go on, get it. Don't stand there. Move. Take a look at this foot, will you? Sure thing. I think he stepped on something. Well, these men will be snoring like babies in no time at all. You stick with them till I get across the state line and back. So the Border Patrol will be ready for us. His foot will be all right, Denver. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I'll see you.
one of these days that Denver kid is going to make a slip. And I'm going to be around a triple. You know something, Slip? I'll bet you've got a bad stomach. That's why you hate people. I had one once, but she's all right now. Fact is, I'm just a young man again. Dad, burn it. That's what I get for talking to. Just a young man again, huh? So your stomach is all better. My stomach's all right, but that gunpowder ain't. Give me a match. What for? Come on, give me a match. Here. what I thought. Slip, get the fox and get him quick. This ain't gunpowder. You're getting awful sleepy, Frank. Better have some more coffee. Sandman's got him. And I've got you. You and your gunpowder. Take the guns, Howie. I'm disappointed in you, Tim. You turned out to be a sentimentalist. You turned out to be a murderer. The murderer of my brother. That's what I said. You're a sentimentalist. Go get him, Blackjack. Take care of him, Howie. Come with me, Slip. Appears like you fellas done broke the law. That's too bad. I kind of figured I'd get a look at that Denver guy, too. Keep your eyes open and turn around. Get them across the border. can't hit them off. Kill that black stallion, Slip. That'll stop him. Yeah.
rest, Mr. Fox. This won't bring Fletch back. But it will clear his name. There's one report I'm mighty proud to send in, Rocky. I'll see you guests at the Capitol right away, sir. Oh, by the way, uh, I've got a new recruit for the Border Patrol. You don't mean Nugget? No, sir. This is the fellow I mean. Dead. Tim. I'm sure you'll find him a good man. I'm sure I will, Rocky. The captain came up with a pretty good idea at that, Nugget. Why don't you join the Border Patrol? <laughs> no thanks, Rocky. I already got me a lord job. I'm the new sheriff of Cemetery Ridge. <laughs>